presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 205, NASDAQ's down 57, SP's up 2.5, gold contract down $6.40, trading at $17.91 an ounce. We had silver down 18 cents. $20.22 an ounce, light sweet crew. That's getting whacked out here today, down $3.24, $86.17 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note, down 10 ticks, trading 119.12, the 30 year off nine at 141.08, and King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading down 60 ticks, 106.486. The Euro is 101, the Yen is at 134, and the British Pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, it's going to be a cool little market, a cool little 60 minutes here, folks. So, first, let me bring up, I'm going to bring up the E minis and the future contracts so you can kind of see how this is shaking out here. So, if we bring this up intraday for a couple days, what you're going to see, and this is a classic, man. This is, well, this is a classic, folks, when you are going to go downtown and you're going to go downtown very quickly, okay? And what it is is this, is that what, I, what I've seen is this, is that when markets get stretched, most of the time what happens on a larger correction is kind of what we just seen today, like right now. Um, and what it is, is this. First they get stretched, then they get stretched more, then they get stretched more, and then intraday what happens is that they get stretched and they blow every shot out of the water. Meaning, you accelerate up, you get a nice acceleration up on the S&P, what we just did, on this last acceleration, we went from 42.78, okay, to 43.27. And I'm going to bring this back so you can see that there was nothing at the, the, the top bar. See that top one? The top one had uh, 23,000 contracts. Then what ends up happening, it's like, okay, the next little bar had 18, and then here you go. Bingo. 36,000 contracts and 54,000 contracts. We hit the low at 54,000 contracts. So... More than likely, you're setting up an intraday ABC structure on the way down. Now, let me put this on the NQs so I can show you on the NQs. So the NQs did the same thing and actually were actually more deviant uh, because what you did, first you went down and you went down good, okay? You know, we got, first we got down to a price point of 13522 It goes up, 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 blows it away, man. Gets up there. Now, watch this, man. You gotta love markets, man. And then, look at that. So, 9,000 contracts was at the high. The first bar off the high, 7,900. And here you go. Here we go. The next one, 16,000. The next one, 19,000. This baby is going south, man. And 
We'll see what it's going to do in ABC down today. It has plenty of time to do that ABC down. The thing that's amazing, so so picture when this was happening, the I'm looking, I'm saying to myself, I was just I was so picture this. I'm saying to Tommy, I can't believe this man, right? You know, we're sitting out there trading. He's trading. I'm trading. We're, I'm writing a press release at the same time, and, <laughs> and so what happens, right? When this happens is that when it goes fast and furious like this on the way down, after a stretch like it is, it catches a lot of folks, you know, because what ends up happening, you either close the positions or you flip the positions. And then, and, and, and my point more than anything is this, and then you can't find nothing why the sell-off is there. That's the first thing I went to. I says, okay, man, what, what's going on? Well, there's nothing going on, folks. What it is, is the bottom line is that they're selling, you know? So we'll see where this baby shakes out. But this is telling me that this next, uh, you know, 50 minutes, we're going to be going south. So let's go over to the gold contract look at the gold contract. They say, look at the gold contract. You're down $6.40. Uh, each and every day, the bottom line is that it's been rejecting lower prices. It has tremendously lighter volume, but guess what? It's not going higher, man. It's still going sideways, okay? Now, we only have 88,000 contracts. So that is saying flat out that, yeah, you don't have sellers. Well, we need buyers. And right now, you still don't have buyers. We go into the note and bond market. We take a look at the note and bond market. Right now, you have the 10-year the is down 10 ticks. You know, this has got highly volatile, there's no doubt about it. This also looks like, now you talk about deviant, this also only has uh, 82,000 contracts today. No, 828,000 contracts today. Now watch this. This is really light contract volume for a pullback. I mean, look at this. You're pulling, you, you know, you went higher with uh, 1.6 million, you're actually going into 1.7 million, and you're only doing 828,000. That's a setup that it still wants higher price. That's, a, that's how this thing is set up. Then we get into the good old King Dollar, because King Dollar, uh, bottom line, where are you, King Dollar, there it is, okay. So what we have with King Dollar is that King Dollar had broken hard last week, came right back inside. Oh, it, it decided that, hey man, you know, it, it, what it had done, it basically had broken the trend line, channel line rather, channel line, got right up above it again, and now what just happened is just gave it up again. So this is gonna be really cool, man. Uh, you know, it's a great, great trade market, number one. And we'll see where this baby shake is, uh, shakes out. Um, you get both sides going. So the divergence still is, if that dollar can get lower, we'll see that market higher. Not today. I'm not talking about today. Today, my take is that we're going to sell down because of the way that we just went through this whole deal. Our, our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's up 191. Nasdaq's down 62. S&P's a flat. We'll come right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is uh, up 192. NASDAQ is down 61. S&P is a flat. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day. 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time, also a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get at Basil's newsletter, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN. You'll just go to, right at the very top, you hit newsletters. You'll see Basil's newsletter on the left-hand side. You just hit opening call. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95. You can get it for a year for $11.95. And six months, that's a savings of $199, uh, 22%. And if you get it for the year, it's a savings of $593, or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. So you can go over there. You can check out whatever one you like. Bottom line, if it works for you, awesome. If it doesn't work for you, 29 days later, you get your money back, folks. Basil has lots of archives over there that you can go through the market, watch that wave, figure how this market moves every day and we got plenty of waves in this market man that's for sure basil chapman how you doing i'm doing well thank you very much talking about waves uh yeah. certainly there have been a whole lot of waves uh, even even since i spoke to you last tuesday in fact if you remember i was talking about about the next day i was going to do my all-day webinar and i was discussing the patterns that we would be looking at and one of them was this lopsided cup formation it's like a gravy cup Okay. Uh, it was, it was basically a rectangle, in this case from the Dow 33,272 level back in May and then or the 1st of June, and then it plummets down to 29,653. And from from that very day of the low, we've been, we've been long in various positions in the diamonds, uh, got about 11% gain in that. But most importantly, I looked at the pattern and said, this is the pattern, the, rect the large rectangle pattern can create a kind of a lopsided cup. It looks like a cup, but it's really a lopsided, so I call it a gravy cup because it comes down sharply and then starts its way up and it makes higher highs and higher lows. And I said there's a, there's a time sequence that said that within the next uh, a day or two, we should be um, testing the 33,272 level. Well, it tested that and it's broken to the upside. So these are all the patterns that we discussed. And one of the things about this webinar, which is now archived, and it's, it's I especially did the webinar 
to be able to explain the patterns regardless of the of of that is August, it could be December, it didn't matter the year or the time, it was the patterns themselves that repeat over and over. And what I had said to you was the weekly chart is starting to improve for the very first time. And if the Dow weekly chart is able to climb uh, back towards the 34,000 level, that's going to be very important because it's going to help the MACD turn up in the weekly chart. The stochastic was under 80%, now it's at 75%. And the on the uh, nine-period moving average was still very weak. It's pink because it's underneath the 14-period moving average. That's this middle chart. And I said if it can cross positive, that'll be the first time in since it broke down back in beginning of January, February, in the weekly chart, it broke under the... 14 period moving average has been pink ever since. And this is the first time you can see right there it's got an L. It means that this is the first week that has crossed positive to green. That's a, that's a big deal. It says that, yeah, we, I, I agree with you. I think that we're getting a little bit overbought right now. But most, most significant is that there's been this rotation through all these different sectors. And um, the, the Dow has been doing very, very well. And the QQQ, which we're also long, in fact, we're somewhat aggressively long, um, using the three times long, one of our positions has made a 50% gain already. But th the point was that I targeted the 200 period exponential moving average as something that if we can break above 344, which is the high that was made back in June, in the same cup that turns into what I call the gravy cup, lopsided cup formation, there could be another significant, and a, 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 some of the techniques that I, I showed, one was the left side, right side price time match, where you can take a vertical line and treat it as a plumb line. So that the number of, I call it bar synchronicity, the bars on the left, equal the number of bars on the right. Well, we did that at a peak D, but then it continued higher. And here's yet another doji candle today with a new recovery high of 334.42. But if you look, the, 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 it's, it's above the 200 period moving average. That was our target. Now it's going to kind of hang around there for a little bit before it can break significantly higher, I think. But it's got the 9 over the 14 in the daily chart. The MACD is strong. Stochastic is very strong at 94%. So it's going to be really bad news that takes us down, other than just a minor pullback, to really take it down significantly. And for the first time, the index 100, the QQQ Invesco Trust Series, is above. This is the third week that it's above the, the inside track uh, repellent zone. That should become a propellant zone if the 314 level to 312 uh, support holes over the next two weeks. So these are the patterns that I discussed. And as I say, the webinar is not a date specific one because what I wanted to show is these particular techniques. In fact, I'm going to do this now. I don't usually do it, but we had a stock. I said there's, I think there's going to be a rotation from the real winners over the last many weeks to, to some of the very big laggards, the stocks that have just got pummeled 80, 90%. And we might start to see the stocks that are in the zone that would be part of what a recovery would uh, need. And one of those is uh, WE, which is a symbol for uh, WeWork. That's flexible workspaces, offices, suites with private amenities, etc. So we had the pattern. And I said we're going to start a position on Friday. Uh, so we start. I wanted. I didn't know because it had a big spike up on news to the 594 level whether or not just to get into a trade and then say, okay, we have to make a wide stop or to split the trade. And I thought Prudence says split the trade. So we got into the trade on the 12th at 565. But then the next one I said, let's buy it at 535, $5.35 if it pulls back to that. But I'm only going to give it another day or two. So today was running out of time. But what did it do? Went down to 535. Now it's trading at 575. Nice. And the pattern was that if this rectangle, this, you see this channel wave inside track, the little green yes. and red line in yes. the um, daily chart, if it's able to break above that, it should tackle the left side high of 594 and then quickly go to the sixes in leg C. That's the pattern that we're looking at if successful from the takeoff level that we actually saw this morning. And I, for subscribers this morning, I drew in the, uh, the pattern with 120 minute chart. Um, and I, I think that 
so far it's acting very well but that's i think where we are that we're looking at the chance that the really the, the stocks that were just horrible are now going to because some fund a lot of fund managers i think must have missed this big move and maybe are just getting in now but now they're looking at what what could we do so i suspect that i mean flexible workspaces i think on a fundamental level i think there's some room for that but on a technical level, this weekly chart has produced an H pattern that could turn into a beautiful cup formation if at any point in the next two weeks it trades six, uh, 685, 720, somewhere around there. It says, you know what, maybe we, we work for the very first time since it was at 14.97 in October of 2021, down to $4.51, could actually participate in a decent rally. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You can see it right under newsletters. Opening calls on the left-hand side. Hit that button. You are off to the races. Basil, you have a great one. Safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up at 226. You got the NASDAQ down 33. S&Ps are uh, up seven. Yeah, so check this out. This is pretty cool because Bas Basil was talking about that. Well, here, I'll show you first. And he was talking about the 200 day moving average and what what you have here is that the Dow bottom line yesterday closed right at it and you can see what he's talking about it's, it's over it okay so that's a that's a big deal there's no doubt about that people like buying that selling that all the all the above now check this out this is just the opposite now and the spy today we'll see how this shakes out but the bottom line is that they brought it right up to it and then it's like unloaded so when you see this, it's about as wild as you can get. So that 200 day right there was at uh, 431.56.
And you can see what happened here. We went to 431.73 and just gave it up right then and there. Now the Qs, and they, the Qs are the weakest, okay? The, the bottom line, the Qs, you can see they, they have quite a way to go um, for that acceler for that to basically get up to that 200. The 200 on the Qs is laying out at 342.01, and right now you're at 332.26. Uh, Some of the higher volume equities, oh man, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, this is something else, man. This is, yeah, let me just pull this up for you, because this, so picture this. This is up, oh, look at this, it's even heavier. <laughs> okay, so what a ride this has been today. Look at this ride, folks. So. The low for the year is 438, the high is 30. Today, this is one of these meme stocks again. Reddit's driving it, okay? Bottom line is that what you see, it started out today at $15.71, uh, rode all the way up to 28, to 28. It's back now to uh, 1866. And if you look at this in the daily, you're going to just see how pretty dramatic it was. I mean, that's quite a ride. Now, you know, what the, the bottom line is that, you know, these chat rooms, okay, when they, when they get this thing going, you can see why, right? You see this right here at the bottom of the screen? The, there's, that's one third. Every one of every three shares, folks, are shot positions, okay? So the bottom line is that you can see you know, they, you get a couple equities that have a shot position. Well, here, let me look at this, too. I want to see, because then you want to see the amount uh, of outstanding shares also. Okay, so, yeah, this is interesting. Look at this. So, you not only have that, you, so look at this. This has done 363 million shares, and their float is only 80 million. <laughs> Okay, so you have two things going for you if you want to basically do a short squeeze. You have one of every three that got on it. Bottom line is that you got uh, four times the amount of the float that's been traded out here today. That, yeah, that is a short squeeze in an extraordinary way. And I suspect, uh, bottom line, is that a lot of people had to, had to cover their positions. Some of the other higher volume equities that we have out here today, you got... Uh, Let's see, Amazon's up a buck sixty-six. We have uh, Tesla's down seven dollars. You got uh, Ma Bell up twenty-one cents. Uh, check this out. This is going to be pretty amazing. These banks, man, you know, we've talked about it plenty of times as to the amount of uh, money that they pay in fines and continue to pay in fines, and they just don't care, man. This one here, they might care about because you can see that the Wall Street is on sticker shock for using WhatsApp. And the bottom line is the way it works in the banking broker dealer community, folks, is that um, all communications are supposed to be secure so that if a regulator is coming in, they know whether someone's trying to pump and dump a stock and all of the above. Well, the bottom line is that um, the broker dealer community and the banks in general, okay, uh, you know, didn't stay on top of this. But watch the difference. The difference is Morgan Stanley got grabbed in this. There's a, there's a, and they only paid, yeah. So in 2006, Morgan Stanley must be so happy right now they can't see straight. They got grabbed and they, they paid $15 million. Well, now these fines are going up to like right now, JP Morgan just announced they're paying $200 million. Um, these are going to be some monster numbers. And, you know, the bottom line is that we've been through this many times. You know, they just, they just keep paying them. Uh, but that's, that, is, that is pretty intense, man. That, that structure itself can pay that much money and just brush it away. You know what I mean? So let's go take a look at the silver market here. We take a look at silver. Silver right now. Okay, so silver is down 15 cents. You only get you have 41,000 contracts. That's that's light vo volume also, man. Uh, bottom line is that yeah, you, you're coming into 68,000. You only get 41,000. You know, so they're pulling back correctly, but we're still looking for a sign of strength. And that sign of strength, 
uh, is going to have to do with uh, the good old dollar. Let's go into the oil. Oil has been highly volatile out here today. Uh, we've had a high of $90. You got a low of 85. That's how oil's been tra trading lately, also. And look at this, man. Okay, this might be really giving some relief here. Okay, so the last swing had 350,000, and it had 270. So you're breaking a swing. You're breaking it with lighter volume, but you're breaking the swing. We put this up in a generic contract and take a look at it. Put this on a weekly now. Yeah, this is saying this is this is saying oil. Well, 85's game. You can see if we get inside 8541. Put this here. That's a lower range, and the next range down would be 85.41 to 66.26. That's how that shakes out. And that's very well what we can be doing. And that would definitely, um, you know, bottom line, bring gasoline prices down once again, you know. And what's also, what you're also gonna see, of course, is that it's not only just bringing gasoline prices down, what you have is that we're going from the summer driving season into the, you know, basically the fall and the winter. XAU, the, well, let's go to the GDX and take a look at the GDX. Because some of the gold equities, they're flat. They're not, you know, uh, down even though gold's down. So the GDX right now, uh, yesterday we rejected lower price. You had uh, 16 million shares traded. Today you're going to have uh, probably 12 or 13 million. Same type of setup, though. Rejected lower price again. Uh, you know, we'll see. This still, this still needs uh, basically some buy-in. Uh, Walmart. Walmart came out with numbers. The bottom line is that, you know, they had come out with a warning first. They made the, the numbers of the warning. Uh, this gap's higher. So this is going to be interesting to see now how this shakes out. So what happens with gaps is this. You can see three big gaps on the way down when they came out last time. $149. Five days after that was at 117 Now, the way this is shaking out... Um, you know, we'll see whether he's going to come back and fill this gap first at that 133. Because he very well could fill that gap. And if it fills it with light volume, then, you know, bottom line, then you can start basically taking a look at it. Home Depot. Home Depot come out. Now, what, the, what was interesting to bring about Home Depot is that Home Depot was not trading up after hours last night. Uh, bottom line, people looked at the numbers and they decided, hey, man, I'm going to go for this. And Home Depot is trading up $12.79. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. The Dow's up 234. NASDAQ's down 27. S&P's up 8.5. Come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 232. You get the NASDAQ down 24. S&Ps are up 8.5. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness out here. Uh, strength of Walmart is the big number out here, no doubt. Walmart is putting, uh, well, actually, it's Home Depot. Look at that. Home Depot is putting 80, 84 positive points. Walmart's putting 43. Boeing's putting 12. Amgen's putting 12. Taking away from it, 3M, minus 9. Salesforce, 7, minus 7. Goldman, minus 6. Inside the NDX 100, let's take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Strength out here is you get Ross Stores is up 2.7%. Uh, uh, Electronic Arts, 2.7. 2 you get Wall, Green is Vooch, 2.2. And Marriott is up uh, 1.8. Taken away from it, Moderna. Moderna is down 4.3. Pindor Do is off uh, 3.4, Zoom is off uh, 3.5, and, and you get Illumina down 2.4. This Illumina, man, let me just pull this up. Because that that thing has been really, that, I guess, yeah, I mean, it's in six months, it's been down from 3.70. We're trading 2.20, gap down the other day from 2.36, down to 1.99. That's a high volume low, man. So that high volume low is going to get tested. That's how that baby shakes out. Let's go into the, the copper contract and take a look at copper. So copper right now is trading 362. And one of the main reasons we're going to copper, folks, is this, is that what you have is that the, you know, China basically came down on interest rate structure. So there's no two ways about it. And that's when you saw the dollar basically go up 1,500 points, uh, to 1,200 points, uh, came right back inside the range because our Fed is, you know, expected to continue to go up on rates. Well, bottom line, we're looking at copper because copper and China go together like hand in hand, okay? Most, and what we have right now in copper is this. So picture this. The last high that was established out here has volume. That's at 370. So that's telling me that, you know, we came off this low of 313. The low, the high that was coming off was $5 in, uh, I think it was 505. Uh, bottom line, I expect that you're going to see this higher. Uh, so the real kicker here is going to be the aspect as to where does that dollar go in correlation to that. Because the, the, if, if the dollar basically cracks again, it looks today that it's very well, it's, it's teetering right at that line. Meaning, is it going to come back inside the lower range again? Because we broke down with conviction, you broke back up with conviction, and what it did today is tested it, and it's basically laying at that line right now. Let's go to the small caps and take a look at the IWM. We got a couple tigers that want to look at the IWM. Uh, we take a look at this IWM. Now, what the IWM has had, number one, um, you know, this is here. Watch this. This is, this must be over the 200 also. Yeah, it is. See, so the IWM, as well as the Dow, you know, bottom line got back over its 200 day moving average. Now, that being said, uh, it looks here, you know, we go back the last four days. Watch this. 
So we go back to last Thursday. Thursday we did uh, 23 million. Friday you did 21 million. Monday we did 17 million. And today we're not even going to do 17 million. Now, so the price today is important because 20115. You close over that and you go to higher price. You don't close over that, that's saying you're going to pull back also. And you can see that the IWM, this has been a one way shot going all the way from uh, 178. This has been quite a move, man. You know, you basically pulled back for one day uh, out of that whole area, which, which is pretty intense. The TLT, we go to the, tw the TLT, the 20 year plus. This is the ETF structure. This one here, yeah, which are, oh, so look at this, man. This is pretty intense. So this means rates are basically going back down again. So you had a break last Thursday with volume. That break got you down into 114. You had 20 million shares traded, right? Well, guess what? We traded it out here today. You get 8.7 test in that area. That's saying you're going to go right back topside once again. You know, this, this is, you know, the... the what is running this market, you know, bottom line, is the aspect of uh, the dollar, the bonds, the whole ball of wax. Let's get into the uh, NQs. So the NQs, as well as the S&Ps, they've made their way all the way back topside. We take a look at this, and yeah, we'll see where it shakes out. But the bottom line, you still have a high volume low. So you can see the, the low that we have out there is, uh, what, 100 and... It was 19,000 contracts. The last one, we did 10,000, and you're going against 16,000. So right now, uh, you're only down six bucks inside the NQs. It's the Ever Ready Bunny. There's no doubt about that, man. Housing. So let's go into that. We're going to go into the housing because of the fact that you had Home Depot, bottom line, they're buying Home Depot. So we'll go over to Toll Brothers. We take a look at Toll Brothers, flat market. That's uh, down 23. We take a look at Lana. Lana could have been more higher, man. So Lana right now, uh, 39 cents. It looks like it's building costs and trying to get uh, its higher price. Let's get into the pot business for a second. You know, we had Best Fit buying uh, Canopy last Friday. Bottom line is that it uh, got some acceleration, man. Yesterday, this equity, you know, for, it's a tiny equity, of course. It went from 323 up to 354, and this thing is, looks like it wants to launch this uh, 386 area. And if that's what we get, this has been a killer. Look at this. This stock, fifty-six dollars down to two dollars and thirty-eight cents. Still has a lot of work to do. There's no doubt about that. But you, you know, when you take a look at this. The next stop, it looks to me, man, this thing wants to test like 680. And where I'm going with that, 680 is the lows of the high bar where it had some nice juice on uh, March of 2022. You know, that's not a bad setup right there. And I'm not quite sure, I mean, I don't, I don't see pot being legal in more states or on the federal level, that's for sure. Uh, but bottom line is that they're buying it. Now, most of these, these pot stocks are still losing money. And... Um, CG's Canopy, in particular, yeah, even all next year they plan on losing money. Um, and their gross right now is $496 million. And uh, the bottom line, they're still losing $3 on $496 million. So, now, the, the, it, what, what also is the difference with Canopy is that they basically just do business in Canada. Um, well, no, it's not just Canada. I Meaning they don't do business in the United States. That's the other, that's the other side of it. Um, that's how that shakes out. E mini. Let's go take a look at the E mini that bounced all the way back to. And we take a look at this baby. And I suspect what we have here, you're gonna see this is gonna crawl up with even lighter volume this time. But bottom line, so we're coming into the big by the first buy down. Uh, last buy we did thirty two thousand. You're going into thirty six. So we'll see how much energy they can get uh, get going. That's that's the real bottom line. Uh, trying to get this market flat. That's uh, that's where I suspect they're trying to do out here. But as I said a little bit earlier, uh, this stretch we go we go in south. Dow Industrials. Dow Industrials right now up 264. Nasdaq is down 10. S and P's up 12. We'll come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow and Dutch is up 260. You get the NASDAQ down 19. S&Ps are up 11. And what you're going to have out here also, folks, if we do this uh, volume, you're going to have, you're going to get to a higher high. Uh... You can see this is the this is the the uh, Dow Industrials, okay? Five fifty three. So we're not even going to do. I don't. Let's see. It doesn't look to me like you're even going to do. You're going to have another contraction. You're going to do less than seven sixty eight. If we go to the composite Nasdaq composite, we take a look at the composite. Composite out here is four point five. That's not bad. We did four point four yesterday. But what you do have is that when we ran into the May 4th area, because that's, that's the area we're dealing with right now. May 4th, yeah. The high there is uh, 12,985. We hit 13,181. Well, that area right there has uh, 5.6 billion, I believe. And that's what you're dealing with. That's, that is one monster supply line. So May 4th, there it is right there. Yeah, 5.4 billion. So if the bottom line is that what you're doing, what we're doing out here today, you're going into it with basically probably about 700 million shares shot. And, you know, bottom line, when you, when you see something like that, particularly after a longer stretch, you know, that's when this whole thing comes south. So we'll see what is going to be the catalyst. I suspect one of the catalysts, by the way, too, folks, okay, is going to be the aspect with China bringing rates down. If China brings rates down, let me tell you something, man. They're going into a recession. Uh, you know, years ago, it used to be if 
the United States basically gets a cold, everyone gets pneumonia. Well, guess what? China basically going into recession is going to affect a lot of different countries. I don't see it affecting our country, okay? But the bottom line, it will affect a lot of equity pricing. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night, folks. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Bam! Look at him, folks. Building wealth.